Okay, so first thing you want to do is you want to um, get the pictures you're going to be doing. I have the three pictures too. I'm making three memorial bracelets. Um, so we have this. And what we're going to do is we're going to either crop their heads into circles. So I come over here and I get the circle shape. And I'm just going to make a circle. And then I'm going to move the circle over their head and resize it to my liking. I'm going to leave it a little bit bigger because we're going to do another circle after. So like this. And then you could just duplicate the circle and move it to make it easier. And then I'm going to just adjust it per person's face. Alright, so that's good for that one. And then this one. Gonna make it smaller. Might make him actually bigger. So he could fit in the whole thing. Like that. Boom. Still on the arrow section. I'm gonna select both of these. Then I'm gonna go over here to this right here. And we're gonna go to crop. Boom. We're gonna go to the next picture. Make sure you got both selected. Crop. And crop. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna take another circle. We're gonna make that. In this circle, we're gonna make the size 0.62 because I am gonna be using. Uh, um, as you can tell, it's super small, but what? And we're going to duplicate that three times. Because I'm using a 16 millimeter um, bezel pendant, which is what is the circle pendant I'm going to be putting these in. So right now I'm just cropping it. It's not perfect, but we're going to zoom in so you guys can see what I'm doing. Alrighty. And now we're going to just make the picture smaller so it can fit in here. But we want it to be a little bit bigger. So in case the silhouette software doesn't cut it perfectly, I'll have a little border to cut it. There won't be any extra um, white space around the picture. That's what I do. So the picture is going to be a little bit bigger than the actual cutout part. So like that. And do the same to this. Move this one over. And make sure your picture is bigger than the actual red circle. That's the part that's going to cut out. So when we do use the machine to cut it, if it doesn't cut it perfectly, there won't be any extra white paper on the picture. It'll be actually excess of the paper. So boom. So now we have these. And then we are going to have to print and cut them. Um, I don't actually have my set to print and cut. So I need to change that real quick. And I do it over here with the paper set in. Select that. Go right here. Registration marks. We're going to add those. We're going to turn them on. As you see, I have to move my projects, reflect it all. You want it to be in the paper and not intersecting the black lines or off too way at the top. Make them thick. All righty. 
So there we go. And then we just hit send. And I just cut mine on regular paper. So I will use cardstock plain and send it. And my machine is going to cut it and we'll be back. <music> Okay, so now it has it cut everything. We need to pop these out. Mine aren't perfect. I use a little bit. I forgot my printer had um, a thicker paper in it, but we're gonna just remove that. All right, so these are all our little images. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna take tape. decent size what we're gonna do is we're gonna place our image on the tape like so and then we are going to fold it over and I just like to run my finger around the image to seal it really good so you're literally rubbing your finger as close as you can to seal the tape you're basically laminating the image boom then we're going to take another piece of tape and do the same thing for it other image. And then after, you're just going to cut them out as close as you can. And this is my images ready to go. Now you are going to need some of these. They are just little discs. Mine are 16 millimeters. And if you sized it right, your image will just pop right in there. See that? Literally just boop, popped in there. And then you're going to need UV resin. I use whatever one I have on hand. Today I have this one on hand. And you're just going to fill it up until it's a little dome. And let me get my light ready. All right, and you're literally just gonna fill this with your UV resin. There's no special trick to it. Just make sure I may have to get my other one. Oh, no. And I just pour mine in the middle and push it down and it usually goes to the side. You don't want too much. And then next one. Probably like a dime size amount, if even that. And I'm just using the tip of my bottle to kind of push it around to make sure it got everywhere and did I have enough? Now let it sit for a little bit because there will be a little bit of air bubbles. We want those to pop. And then after I just take my light. And I cure it for 60 seconds three times.
Okay now, so to assemble your bracelets, you need these expandable bracelets here. I just got these off of Amazon and they do sell them in other colors as well. If you wanna do other colors instead of silver. You're also going to need your photo pendants you just made along with all these charms you guys see in the background on the table, which I purchased, it, which I bought from Etsy. And then you are going to need these. These are split rings. These are going to be way better than jump rings because jump rings, if you your bracelet gets yanked, they open right up. These are actually... Um, they have like two layers, so you have to, like a regular keychain. So you want these because it's going to ensure your pendants and your charms do not fall off. Okay, so what I like to do is I like to lay my bracelet with my photo pendants down. And then I go in and I just pick random charms. I'm basically seeing how the bracelet is going to look. This just makes the process easier than me trying to search for everything as I'm making it. So I like to lay everything out at first. And then once we do that, we're gonna take our split ring and I'm just using these pliers I got with that I purchased. I will try to find them on Amazon for you. And I use that to hold it open. And then I just take my charms and I just slide it through. And then you just basically pull the split ring until it is completely on the charm. And you are basically going to do that for all your charms. So I do that first before I put them on the bracelet. So now I'm just going to repeat that process for the rest of your charms. Once you get all your charms on the split rings, you're going to take your expandable bracelet and you're going to pull one side open as you see I'm doing here. Be very careful. And once you do that, you should be able to open that whole piece up. And we're going to actually put our charms on that part that has the little hook on it. So you basically just grab a charm and loop it on. Your photo one, make sure it's facing outwards as well very important but it looks like that and then you're going to take the rest of your charms that you picked out and you're just going to loop them right onto your bracelet as so once you have all your charms on your bracelet you just want to close it back up so you're going to hook it take that hook and hook it back onto the bracelet and then you're going to use your pliers that we just have and you're going to make sure you close it all the way you don't want any space so close it back up and there you have it you have one of your photo charm bracelets done and now you're basically going to just go and you're going to repeat the steps for however many bracelets you have um, once you get everything done, making the bracelets is pretty quick. This is a super easy project and I think it's very just sentimental and people love them. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up. Also, do not forget to hit that subscribe button down below so you can watch my future videos. And if you guys have any ideas for future videos or you want to see some other type of crafts, Leave them down in the comments below and I'll make sure to put that on my list of videos to make. Again, I thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye now.